Hello and welcome to this month's Maggie Moment. I just need to let you know we're recording this at a conference, so if everything's a little bit dodgy, that's the reason. This month, I wanted to have a quick chat about our expectations of our children as parents, because sometimes we have forgotten or we may not be aware of the developmental capacity of our children. And sometimes we expect they'll be able to do something when they actually haven't got the cognitive development to do that. And one of the most common ones is being able to follow um, a direction from a parent while a child is absorbed in another activity because they're not capable of two different thought trains at the same time. So that's why we often suggest come on over and connect with your child and have a little chat to them first so that you've got them in the same page as you before you might offer that direction. And then secondly, every child develops differently. And I think you would have discovered that if you've got more than one child in your family. And we kind of just assume they'll all just, you know, hit these developmental markers or be able to do the same as our siblings. And no, we need to drop that expectation because each child is unique and different. And our job is to create the environment and the relationship so that they are able to grow in as healthy a way as possible. Another tricky developmental stage is also about their physicality. So there are some of our kids who can, you know, are fiercely brave and climb trees and do scary things and scare the heck out of parents. And yet there can be an older child not at that same thing. And we can think something's wrong with our child. So it's just about what are our expectations and can we tamper them down a little to sort of see if we can tune in to where is our kid at and what can we do to help them stretch and grow in a way that is, is actually okay for them rather than something that sees them as a deficit. And the same goes, of course, you know I'm a passionate boy champion, that at times our boys are cognitively behind our girls and we can't have the exact same expectations at times as they transition into big school of being able to sit still and concentrate and colour in with them in the lines, even though we're helping to build their capacity at times. And then the last one I want to touch on again is that expectation that our kids are going to be able to run home to you after school and be happy little cherubs. <laughs> so glad to be home and to see you. In actual fact, quite often what happens is it's a time for big feelings to come out because they're now in a really, really safe place. They could have had a great day at school or maybe a tricky day, but sometimes those big feelings can make parents think, oh, there's something wrong with school. So I want you to keep an eye on other expectations I'm holding for my children. Are they real or are they just my story of, of what I've learnt without knowing fully what our kids are really capable of and that there is no race, no race, and that our children will gradually grow with your loving guidance and your support in safe environments to be whoever they're meant to be in our crazy world. And that's all from me this month.